Hi guys, in this video we're going to be making little baby Moana cake topper and I'll show you a little bit of um, how to decorate a cake to match it. And I'm going to just prep by making some little flowers ready to put on my cake. So I'm going to make these first so they have plenty of time to dry. And I've just got some flour paste here rolled out nice and thin and white and I've got some oval cutters. Just trying them in different sizes. I want five of each oval for each flower. Just using the bowling tool a little bit in the middle just to cup them up. Just going to put a little bit of water or you can use edible glue just at the bottom of each one and we're just going to try and overlap them over each other. And then I've just popped them into a little paint palette to dry. So the paint palette cups them up nicely. You are going to need a really tiny one which is what my tiny ovals are for for little baby Moana's hair. Now using a little bit of my flower paste I've got left I'm going to make some little shells. Although they look a bit like sugar puffs by the time I've made them. It's like a little egg shape with a line down the middle and then it's going to some going across to make a bigger shell again we've got a bit of a teardrop shape and I'm just pressing into it slightly at one side and then we're going to try and push into the top creating a little bit of a spiral and then let's just use our fingers to pinch along the edge of that spiral pop those to one side to dry so I've got some modeling chocolate for baby Moana it's just quite block shaped <laughs> Kept her flat on the bottom because it's going to go from waist upwards. She gets a little bit thinner as she goes up and then we're pinching in her neck onto the top. Give her a little bit of the belly that sticks out. And I've got a circle for her head. Now it's quite flat at the back but that's fine because we can build it up with her. And we're just shaping it slightly. So can you see I've just pushed a bit of an angle at either side of the bottom so that she's got a chin. And then we're pressing our fingers in onto the top halfway down for eye sockets. We've got a little oval that we're putting on for the nose and the oval's going on so it's longer or wider than it is tall. Another little oval but going further down on her face for her mouth. I'm going to put a line through that and just slightly past the lips either side. Now for her eyes we've got a ball that's squashed cut in half and then we're going to stick those into those little sort of eye sockets we made with the straight edge facing downwards. Now I've got a ball for each ear and it's just got a little indentation in the middle of that ball. Just pushing in with the modeling tool. Oh, forgot her belly button. Just push it in with a paintbrush handle. I've just got this skin tone powder that I've just dusted on lightly onto her lips. Just with a dry brush and just a really small amount above her eyelids. I don't want her to look like she's wearing makeup. And I've got strawberry color edible powder for her cheeks. Just using my paintbrush handle to push in tiny nostrils if I can. And then we've got some black modeling paste for her eyebrows. So just try and roll two tiny pieces so they're a bit narrower on the outside edge. And a long thin piece for the eyelashes. So run that across the bottom of the eyelid and then just trim off anything that goes past the edge. Let's put some little lines on along the end of there so she looks like she's got eyelashes. A disc of black. I've squashed it but it's still quite fat and we're just pushing that onto the back of her head. So it just rounds off her head just a little bit so it's a little bit less flat. And I've got some more of my modelling chocolate for the legs. Now I've rolled quite a thick piece we're going to cut it in half. So it's quite basic these legs. A little bit thinner at the bottom than at the top and we're just folding over a little bit that thin end for the foot. Do the same on both and we'll just trim that down a little bit more. Keeping them nice and chunky because she is baby Moana so they are quite chubby anyway. And the thicker they are, the more support she's got. So I'm using modeling chocolate again for between the legs, but this time it's a white modeling chocolate. And I'm just going to put a skewer through the body and through that one leg. Now I've pierced it into a polystyrene dummy just to hold it in place now while I work on it. And we've got a strip of white modeling chocolate that we're just going to wrap around the join that goes between the body and the legs. And then I'm going to push the head onto that skewer that's sticking out of the top of her body. And you can use spaghetti if you prefer to over a skewer. And then we've just got two little rectangles that we're going to push onto the side of her just there. Now she's going to be holding a little leaf so I've got some wire, some florist wire. So you don't want to be eating this bit, just cut a small piece so you see it's got a bit of a bend in it. Just depends how you want your leaf to bend but I do want a bend in my leaf. And I've covered the wire in a thin piece of flower paste. And then I'm going to use my heart cutter to cut out just a thin bit of the flower paste again. Just stretching it out slightly with my fingers and then let's draw some little lines on there so it looks more like veins. And I'm just going to trim out some triangles from either side. Just using my balling tool again 
just cups it up just a little bit and I'm going to try and stick that underneath that wire now that I've put the paste on and just leave it to dry on something that's going to hold it up in that cupped shape. So I'm just using my cornflower pouch. Now she needs a shell necklace. So for her necklace I've just rolled some tiny little teardrops in a cream colour and just stick those around her neck. Now I'm going to make a little baby turtle. So we've got just a disc. I've just got cream colour here but you can use whatever colour you want. I'm going to paint it up after. Just a little ball squished into the middle and again a circle that's cut into two semicircles and we'll just arch those around just a little bit. Now these are going to be the front little flippers. And we'll do the same again for the back but keep them a bit smaller and slightly less curved. I've just got a ball for the head. Just use the knife to push in a little mouth. And I've got a balling tool to create two little eye sockets. And I've pinched one side of it to create a neck. And let's just push that onto there like that. And then we've created another little disc. I've just pulled the edges out of it all the way around. And that's just going to sit on top of everything now so it looks like the shell. And let's fill those eye sockets with a ball of white. And then a small ball of black. And you can use fondant or modeling paste for the eyes. Ooh, one's a bit bigger than the other. And when I sit that on my cake, he's probably going to sit just in front of baby Moana. I'm going to let him dry out the way for now. So I'm going to paint this onto our clothing. So it's just food colouring. I'll put links to everything that I've used in the description box below the video so you know what colours I've used. And then I'm going to put a bit more colour on my turtle. So I've just gone for a slightly deeper green. And I'm just going to brush it, not evenly, on him just catching sort of the edges of the fins the top of the shell and then go a little bit darker with a tiny bit of brown and now my shells from earlier they are they have dried a bit but I have actually left these overnight since you saw me making them and I've just got nice bright pink on the edges of those and a little bit in the middle of these shells or even a bit of brown and can you see I made some more flowers in all different sizes and I'm just gonna brush my pink into the middle of the flowers and you can put some on the back. Let's put a bit of yellow on these shells as well. Now the leaf is set as well. I'm going to start with a bit of yellow around the outside edge. And then we're going to put a bit of green in the middle. And don't forget to put some on the underside as well. Now I'm going to stand her on a little cake drum. So that I can take her off if I want to and keep her. And I've just got an ivory colour fondant that I'm just going to cover the board in. Just take any extra off that goes over the edges. Now she doesn't need that skewer anymore. Just make sure she's had long enough to be set in. And I've just pushed it into the fondant on that board. You can put a bit of water on as well. Now just to make sure she's not going to fall backwards. I've just put a little ball of fondant. Can you see on the back of her ankle just there? I'll put one on the other side. And let's decide where the little turtle's going to go. So do make sure these pieces have dried before you put them on the board. And then we're going to make our arms. So I've got a fat little sausage. I've just pinched it in a bit at the wrist. And we've cut a little triangle out where we want the thumb to go. And I've just cut the top of the arm down because it's a bit long. I'm going to do the same for the second arm as well. And I'm just going to push those tight on the shoulders now. You can add a bit of water if you need to. And I'm going to push this leaf right into her tummy. So you remember we put it on a wire. So that wire is pushed into her tummy so it's a bit more sturdy and then I can wrap her hands around the stalk so that she looks like she's holding it. Now I'm just going to fill in a bit more of her hair so I've got a dark brown, a nice dark brown and I'm just going to put it on in small pieces so teardrop shapes that we're just pushing on and we can just draw some lines into that so it looks a bit more hair textured. Some smaller ones near the front, let's put a little curl on the end of this one. Now I've just added a bigger, longer piece around the back so I cover more quicker. It doesn't come to the top of a head, but I can add some more layers. I've put lots of little lines in the bottom of it. I'm just flicking it outwards. Do another slightly bigger piece. So you can put it on. You can put it all on in one go if you want, but I'm finding it easier to put it in smaller pieces. And just squish in that little flower that I made earlier. So can you remember I said make a really tiny flower? And that's just going to push into her hair. For my cake, I have pre-ganached a cake ready for some blue icing to go on. So I've just covered this in some pre-dyed blue fondant. Now, I do have a video showing you how I ganache. and um, I think that's my Fifty Shades of Grey video. I'll put a link in the description box for the ganaching video, or the video that contains ganaching in it, so that you can see how I did that. And with this one, we've just smoothed down the fondant using our little flexible smoothers. 
and I'm just gonna dowel it. So can you see I've cut some cake dowels so they're all the same height as my cake. Just put a bit of royal icing on the top of each of those and then we can add our next tier. So my next tier is just made in exactly the same way. And I've got some leftover blue fondant. Now you might have to add some tylos to it for this bit. So I've rolled it out and I'm gonna draw a bit of a wave shape on there. And I'm gonna cut that out and I'm gonna stick that to the front of one of my cake tiers. I think we'll put this one on the top tier. Might add some more little waves. Just using some of those off cuts to create some little curves. And I'm gonna create another wave for my bottom tier. So this time it's going in the opposite direction to the one on my top tier. So I've just rolled it out and drew that on before cutting it out. So I've already stuck the top one on. I'm gonna stick the bottom one on. Just got a little bit of water just on the back of that. Now you will have to be careful because it is quite soft and it's moving around quite a lot. So I've not got quite as neat a finish as I would have liked. And just press that on against the side of the cake. If you want to add any extra little teardrops or anything so it looks like extra splashes then you can do. And I'm just gonna push in place those flowers that we made at the beginning of the video and the shells because they've all set nice and firm now. So remember you can do all the flowers and shells and figures quite a bit in advance of your cake. And I've got some sugar pearls as well. I'm just going to push these into the fondant just so I've got some extra little bits of detailing on there. Okay so I think I've decorated the cake now and all I've done is just stuck the whole cake board with the topper onto the top just using a little bit of royal icing to hold it in place. There it is all finished. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.